Hi, Spirit Fam. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome back. I'm so excited to be able to do this reading for you all for the upcoming week. So, for those of you that are new, my name is Eileen. I'm a spiritual advisor and a coach, and I do angelic readings. I provide you with guidance, wisdom, inspiration, and channelings every week here in this channel um, to just help you better align with your spiritual self. In order to be able to follow more content, please be sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you give us a like. It truly does help our content. And be sure that you hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I drop new videos. So drop us a comment down below. We would greatly appreciate it. And let's get into today's video. Okay, let's do this. So this is going to be a timeless reading. I just want to let you know it's going to be very general. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be drawing cards for the upcoming week. What does spirit, what does the angels, what does the universe want us to really bring into our awareness, bring into our focus for the upcoming week? Now, I do want to share that the cards that I'm using today are fairly brand new. I'm so excited. I've been seeing these cards for quite a while on Facebook and I wanted them because they're absolutely beautiful. They are gorgeous. I want to share them with you today. So they are, these are the Threads of Fate Lumen Edition cards that I am actually going to be using for today's reading. Now, this is the beautiful box. There is sort of some gold leaf um, in here and the cards themselves are amazing. This is the back of what the card looks like. You can actually see some of the gold inlay in here. And then the front of the cards, look how beautiful these cards are. So you can see these colors are very pleasing to the eye. You have some gold leaf in here. Um, these are actually quite powerful cards. I, when I first got them, I used them and right away I was able to get some amazing messages. So let's go ahead and get this started. We are going to ask, you know, the universe, spirit and angels, what do they want us to know? What do they want us to bring into our awareness for the upcoming week? So I hope you guys are having an amazing week. Um, you're not going to see me shuffle, but you are going to hear me shuffling these cards. Um, I want you all to know that down in the description box below, there will actually be information on subscribing to my, what I would call my spirit family VIP membership. Um, it is going to be a subscription service where you will get newsletters every month. You will get monthly Oracle cards. You will also get weekly guidance and information. You'll also get special VIP discounts for any kind of events that I have coming up. Um, also, special discounts for um, readings if you are interested in having a reading with me. Uh, so go down to the description box. Make sure that you look and see if it's something that you might actually be interested in. So let's see. Mother God, Father God, angels guardian angels, archangels, and ascended masters. What would you like for us to know about this upcoming week? What information would you like us to know about this upcoming week? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do six card draw, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lay them down Four. So I'm going to do five, okay? One um, for every single day, but as it coincides with the week. And then we're going to draw one for the overall, okay? All right, first card up. We have Shadow. Okay, so this is the card Shadow. Now, what this card particularly means is that... Um, we all sort of go through experiences in life where we have to sort of revisit the things that 
aren't truly aligning us with our highest self, the things that aren't really aligning us with our spiritual truth or our inner guidance, our inner light. Um, what I love about this is that you'll notice that this has a bat, right? And so bats really don't see very well and how they actually are able to sort of navigate themselves or actually um, move around is by using sonar, okay? So you notice how right here, you sort of have like these little lines, right? Which is that the bat is actually utilizing their inner ability, their inner strength, their inner hearing in order for them to be able to know what is around their surroundings, right? So that's very similar to your intuition. It's truly listening to your inner guidance, recognizing what it is that your inner guidance is telling you. Now, how does that, how does your inner guidance actually communicate with you? It speaks through you, through either other people. It's, it speaks through your mind and it actually speaks through your body, right? Your body is a really great key indicator of what is aligning you with your spiritual truth and what is not. Okay. So this is really wanting us to sort of bring into our awareness, um, to be a little bit more mindful are what are the things that we basically have not been listening to? Are there things that you have not allowed yourself to look at from a higher perspective? Is it something that you need to view from a different perspective to sort of align you more with your spiritual truth? So that's what shadow is. And I think a lot of times when people hear shadow, they really look at it from a very negative perspective. They sort of get scared and they're like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to mess with that. But we have to do that. We have to be willing to look at ourselves deep down within and allow ourselves to truly dig deep down inside of ourselves to align ourselves with that spiritual truth. So that's shadow. Next up, oh, this is a beautiful card. This is speak truth. So what does this mean? So notice how this is an actual sword, okay? Now, what this actually means is that, um, what are you not being honest about with yourself? Are there things that you're not really allowing yourself to speak, um, you know, for right or honestly? Um, are you allowing your own words to sabotage yourself? Are you allowing yourself to truly prevent yourself from being successful or moving forward in life, right? And so this really wants you to just bring into your awareness that um, you have the power to basically cut out all of the BS in your life and truly align yourself with that highest truth. Now notice here on the actual, on the blade, right? Right here on the handle, you have these wings. That's that's a replication of your inner guidance, right? Your inner guidance aligning you with your spiritual truth, right? And so what it wants you to do is speak truth, right? It wants you to utilize your throat chakra, be able to speak um, the things that you really want to bring into fruition into your life. Right, and then next up we have, oh, the wilding. Okay, so this is, I'm trying to get it just right so that you can actually see the beauty in this card. So this is actually two swords, okay? So, and the two swords, they look like they're crossed, right? Okay, so what I actually get from this, um, don't really look at things as um, conflict, right? Don't allow yourself to view everything from a very conflicted or constricted um, experience. Um, not everything is a battle in life. Um, no matter what kind of people actually come into your life, um, whether you, um, you know, whether you have that one person that sometimes um, sort of tends to push those buttons in you, right? Tends to bring out that that part of you that oftentimes feels like it's a little bit negative. Um, you know, ev not everything is a battle. You sort of have to recognize that they're, um, everyone has their own truth, their own inner light that they need to sort of align with and help them move in that direction. I'm gonna actually look in the book what the true intention of this card is. Um, 
As I said, this is a fairly new book for me. Um, new deck, excuse me, not a new book. Um, so I'm still working with it and still learning it, but I usually, I'm an intuitive reader. I really like to get whatever spirit or the angels are really telling me. Um, and usually when I do my readings, um, I'm usually reading the energy of the person that's sitting in front of me or that I'm actually reading for. Um, and I usually pick up whatever it is that I'm getting from there. Okay. So this says, okay. So this is representative of, it's calling to you, it's a time for you to connect to the most primal parts of yourself, okay? This may mean that you need to detach a bit from people around you so that you can hear the whispers of your deepest knowing without the influence of others. So this is truly about independence. Again, I still sort of look at it from the perspective of don't really listen to those people that oftentimes want to create some sort of conflict or fights with you. This really is about you being true to your own inner light and aligning with that and recognizing that everyone has their own alignment um, and that not everyone's alignment is going to match up. Okay. So the next, well, oh, okay. Next we have reflect. Okay. So what this actually tells me is that, um, Everything that, that sort of transpires in our life is a, is a calling for us to truly look at it from a much higher perspective, aligning ourselves with our inner guidance and our higher truth, but also being able to observe it from a very loving perspective, okay? Is look at every situation, every event, every experience, even if you get things from the past that sort of come up, um, sort of into your present, it really is asking you to reflect on it from a very loving perspective. Detach from it if it's causing you sort of like an emotional disturbance. It's really asking you to look deep um, within and ask, you know, your guides, your angels, ask spirit and the universe to sort of help you align to it in a very loving and unconditional way. Okay, so that is what reflect is. It truly is about recognizing that sometimes you're going to meet people that sort of reflect back to you the things that you necessarily don't like about yourself and recognize that that's okay. It's sort of a way of spirit trying to align you with that, um, with the things that you, it wants you to sort of view yourself from a very loving perspective and to see yourself through the eyes of your soul. Not to criticize yourself or judge yourself or put yourself in a very critical, you know, judgment perspective where you're trying, you're trying to sort of align with everybody else. Okay. All right. Next we have, oh, connect to heart. Okay. So what this actually means is this wants you to be very compassionate, okay? Compassion is when you have that that sense that you can not so much be empathic to other people, but you can come from a place of understanding, okay? Notice how you have dogs on here. So dogs are very loyal companions. They love you unconditionally. You could be mean to them and within five seconds, they will be back in your lap loving you as if nothing ever happened. That is what connecting to heart is. It's truly looking at it from a very loving, compassionate place and also being able to sort of rise above every single situation, um, using your guidance, using your intuition and um, recognizing that, you know, sometimes if you've got a lot of thoughts going on in your mind, if you're, if your mind sort of feels like it's taking over, it sort of wants you to detach from that just a little bit and sort of connect to your heart. You know, I've always said when I'm talking to clients that, um, the easiest way for you to actually connect to spirit and to connect to your soul is truly listening to your heart, listening to that inner guidance. 
Um, and a lot of times how I usually teach my students when I'm teaching them how to really grow their intuition, I do what's called a heart guidance. And what you do is you ask yes or no questions and you sort of allow yourself, you ask your heart those yes or no questions and you sort of tune in to what you are feeling in your heart as to what the answer to that yes or no question is. Because that allows you to sort of focus in on one thing instead of trying to focus in on too many things. So this is really asking you to sort of detach from all of those negative thoughts that you've got flowing around in your mind and really connect to your heart because your soul is true, truly resides within your heart. All right, and the overall message for the entire week is going to be, okay, is withdraw. Okay, so when I look at this, what I really look at, I look at it from rest, recuperate, um, um, give yourself permission to take some time for yourself. You have to be able to replenish your own spirit, your own soul, your own body before you could actually, you know, run yourself to the ground. I think a lot of times as light workers, we tend to sort of give. We give and we give and we give to the point that we have nothing left. There's nothing left in the reserve tank for ourselves. And so we have to learn that sometimes we need that rest. We need that recuperation and know that it's okay. I think you know, for me, especially a lot of times when I feel like, you know, when I know that I have things that I have to do, when I know that, you know, like I've got to, you know, I've got clients or when I have to actually do a YouTube video or when I'm having to record my podcast, when I have things that I actually have to do, but I'm not energetically feeling the way that I know that I should be. And it's because I've been going nonstop like 150% of the time um, that I haven't given myself time to actually rest and recoup and rejuvenate my soul and my spirit. We all need that at times. So overall, looking at every single one of these cards, I think the theme here is that, you know, with everything that is going on in the world right now, there's so much chaos, so much turmoil, there's so much... Um, in all honesty, I really feel like there's just a lot of fighting going on. People are so very disconnected to spirit. They're disconnected from their soul. They're very disconnected from their heart. They're all up in their head. They're thinking about all of the what ifs. They're not truly aligning with their highest self or the things that they truly love and what brings them joy. And this is really asking us, it truly is like the angels and spirit is really asking us that I think it's time that we stop living um, up to other people's expectations and truly align ourselves with who we truly are at the core. Um, recognizing that sometimes you're going to have to speak up for yourself. You're going to have to speak your truth. You're going to have to cut out all of the things that no longer serve you, recognizing that it's okay for you to do that. You're gonna have to sort of listen to your own inner guidance and align yourself with that inner truth. You're gonna have to give yourself time to rest and to recuperate and know that that is a part of your spiritual process. It is a part of your internal growing as an actual spiritual being. You need that. You're gonna have, you're gonna need time to reflect on any kind of situation, any kind of event, even reflect where you are. Like really ask yourself those deep questions. Am I happy? Am I truly 150% happy with where I am? And if you're not, then maybe that's when you need to start asking your guides, your angels and spirit to actually come in and help move you in the direction that you really wanna go. It's really asking us to connect to the heart, you know, because that is truly where our spirit resides. As humans, um, we we have primal instincts, right? Our primal instincts is what truly connects us here in the physical plane. But we have to re remember that, you know, we're made to stand out. We're made to be different. We are made to be independent and to stand on our own. And I say that because, you know, if you are new to my channel, you know that most of my videos are all about 
cards, right? I'm bringing you guidance, I'm bringing you wisdom and information. I released one video where it's a channeled video. Um, I channeled the angels of love. That is something that I've sort of kept private to myself because I was too afraid to put it out in the open. And it's actually done so well. And that is now how I'm going to continue to do my videos. I will do these videos and I will do channelings and I will share it because that is part of my, what I would say my primal instinct to be independent and to stand out. Um, there's not that many people out there that can actually do this. Um, and the messages are trying to get out to the open. We as a whole, as a collective, humanity is really asked, asked to put aside your beliefs, put aside your perceptions, put aside everything that you believe to be true. Question, question everything that you believe to be true and truly ask yourself, what does my heart say? What is my heart telling me? What is it that I really, truly want out of life? If you're not happy where you are, then maybe it's time for a change. And these cards really signify to me that that's what spirit and that's what the angels are asking us to do. They're asking us to be willing to explore, be willing to be creative, and be willing to really look deep within ourselves to find our true essence. We are a part of spirit. We are a part of God. And that is what they're asking us to do, to find your inner guidance. So I hope that this has resonated with you. If you are interested in having a personal reading with me, please go down to the description box. There is a link down there that will actually take you to where you can actually go and sign up or contact me for more information on um, my readings. I do intuitive readings and I'm also now offering channeled readings. So um, thank you all so much for joining me today. I truly appreciate every single one of you. Um, I would not be as successful as I am today without you all. So I thank you all so much for being here and I hope you have a fabulous week. Namaste guys.